We're going to get right to that breaking news out of downtown Sacramento where the standoff has ended. You can see the man there standing on the edge of a parking garage right in downtown Commons and he was waving a gun. So all of this started at around 1 a.m. today. It ended just about an hour ago when it appears officers fired something at that man. Police have closed the roads surrounding this garage. It is out uh, between 3rd and 5th streets between J and L. KCR 3's Melanie Wingo, the first reporter on the scene and she is monitoring all of this today. Still a very active situation out here as police investigate what led up to this person being on top of the parking garage here. We are located at 4th and J, and this is an area where cars are now starting to pull down this road right next to the Exchange Hotel, and then they see the police tape up, and then they have to turn in another direction. Now, this is a walkway of sorts once you get to about this point, so it's not as if those cars could go any farther, but even if you spin around right here, sorry, Brandon, to do this to you, but see, this car is one of those ones that turned down this way, perhaps to park next to the hotel, and then now it has to back up and head down J Street. Uh, they cannot go any farther because there is police tape up. We've seen a few cars do this very thing. So as the morning commute is now heating up and people are headed to work, nobody's getting down this way. If somebody wanted to park along here, there are a couple spots. If they wanted to head down this way to work at one of the locations near Doco or one of the hotels, they're not going to be able to park here. Other streets blocked off as well in this vicinity, a couple blocks area around this parking structure and Doco, the Yard House Restaurant, Holiday Inn Hotel, this whole area blocked off for several hours this morning. And we have video of the moments where this person was on top of the parking structure and at times waving a gun around. We saw it through our camera lens. We saw this person on top of the parking garage and as I've reported throughout the morning he did not appear to be stable uh, he appeared to be erratic and distraught at least from what we could tell from the ground here we don't know whether he was communicating with officers or what he was saying that's all unclear at this point but we do know that officers and and SWAT team members were trying to communicate with him at times uh, there were messages over amplified sound, some sort of loudspeaker, uh, hopefully, you know, uh, we think uh, asking him to surrender peacefully. Uh, we could not discern from our vantage point exactly what they were asking of that person who was on top of the building, but we do know that they were trying to communicate with him. They had drones up and officers making their way up as we heard over police scanner traffic, they were making their way up into the parking garage through the stairwells and we think as well through the parking garage itself. At this point, we do know that suspect is down around the top of our five o'clock hour. We heard one round being fired. We have video of that suspect receiving some sort of round in the shoulder and recoiling sort of going back uh, and then dropping. We're not we're choosing not to show you that video. We don't happen to know at this point whether that was a non lethal round, less than lethal round as police call it or uh, some other lethal shot being fired. That is unclear. We're still waiting to hear from Sacramento police. We'll let you know as soon as we hear back from them. Deirdre and Teo. Melanie, thank you.